this morning, history is being made. The first U.S. lunar lander in more than 50 years is on its way to the moon's surface. It blasted off earlier this morning from Cape Canaveral, hooked to a new rocket called the Vulcan. The lander is developed by a Pittsburgh-based company called Astrobotic Technology. The company hopes to be the first private business to land on the moon, and if it is successful, it will mark a major milestone in space exploration. Professor Jana Levin joins us now. She's a cosmologist and professor of physics and astronomy at Barnard College of Columbia University. Professor, good to have you with us. So tell us more uh, about good this morning. mission and, and the payload that it's carrying to the moon. Well, it's a very interesting moment, really, in the history of kind of near Earth or uh, lunar space travel, in that it's really relying on commercial missions. So NASA is collaborating with a commercial company both for the launch and for the lander. It's almost uh, as though it's just hiring this beginning to end delivery system. Now, NASA has five different experiments as payload on this mission, but there are 15 others that are commercial um, payload, and they are not run by NASA uh, nor overseen by NASA. So it's a really very different kind of time in the history of these kinds of lunar missions. Absolutely. I mean, it's creating so much excitement because of all these historic firsts, right? If all goes to plan, it marks yeah. the debut launch of this particular rocket, the Vulcan. And if that's successful, Astrobotic could become the first private company to achieve this controlled landing on the moon. I do understand that it does have some competition from a Houston company that has a lander ready to fly as well. Is there any possibility that lander gets to the moon first? Walk us through this competition yeah. in the private space. So this is very interesting. The competition used to be between countries, right? Mm -hmm. And there was all of this political warfare uh, going on and all of this sort of patriotism and symbolism. Um, this is now a kind of classic industrial commercial competition. Intuitive Machines is the company out of Houston that plans to launch mid-February on a SpaceX rocket. And uh, they'll take a more direct path to the moon. So this uh, mission is going to orbit the Earth a couple of times very quick, but then it goes into a very long orbit around the moon. And part of that is to take measurements, to gauge how things are going, but also to wait for some sunlight to fall on the landing site. And so they're due to land on February 23rd, but this other mission from Intuitive Machines, even if they launch mid-February, could just go in a direct shot and just try to land. And that's just classic competition between businesses now. Uh, Professor, this mission, it's sponsored by NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative. What's that? Yeah. Clips. So NASA used to do everything, of course. And the last time NASA sent people to the moon was in 1972 with Apollo 17. But they did everything. They built the rockets. They built the machines. They, they oversaw the entire operation from beginning to end. And, of course, government agencies are also very risk averse. They don't necessarily have the ambition, the time, nor the public will to uh, have failures, to have disasters like we see repeatedly with SpaceX. So there's this sort of real big shift to say, you know, as commercial companies, you can take on that big risk factor and we'll, we'll uh, pay you for it and be um, basically in a rideshare situation with other commercial companies. So it's a completely new model. And I think there was a lot of concern that it wouldn't go as well if it wasn't NASA operated from beginning to end. But we've seen just an unbelievable explosion in commercial space flights. And it seems to be going kind of as the model would hope. Mm. All right, cool. Professor Levin, Good thanks news. so much Very for joining cool. us. We appreciate your time this morning. We sure do. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.